Here we have uh, two different motors that I've used for some of my experiments. This is the Ryobi 40 volt motor that I've used for a lot of different projects here. I'm trying this on our mower currently for just the drive motor, not for the blade motors. This is a Husqvarna motor, but I noticed when I was ordering them that they are incredibly similar. Uh, I've already measured, this one by the way is damaged, so just ignore that. It should have had a fourth one here, but it got broken in shipping. Anyway, the bolt hole pattern is the same. The width of the motor is the same. The difference that you can see is the height. There's about 10 millimeter difference here on the side. Uh, from what I've been told about these, this one is actually marked as a 900 watt motor, the Husqvarna is. This other does not have a marking on the tag there. I've been told it's about 750 watts, and that seems about right. So, these being so similar, I decided to use that, and it's thus far working quite well. Along with this, I'm starting to implement 3D printing into my design. So, because on the previous one, the V-belt was pulling too hard this direction on the shaft, it ended up burning out the bearings. So I needed a belt system that didn't pull quite so tight on it. So I'm going to set this Ryobi motor aside. And this is what I'm currently using. It, this design would also work with the Ryobi. There's a slight difference in the shaft. I 3D printed a cog gear that you can see here. Came out quite well. Uh, doesn't have to be pretty to work. Uh, cog gear, I shouldn't require as much tension because it's going to grip into these nicely so I don't have to tighten the belt quite so tight which should take some of the bearing pressure off. So this we'll install. I'm not going to put it all the way on. I made this so it's incredibly stiff. It's a very uh, close fit. Um, so it's almost pressed on. It won't slip. Uh, it's been working good so far even on extreme areas of my yard. Uh, I will include the 3D print in there, a link to Thingiverse, and anyone can download it and use it for their own project. That will go on the rest of the way if it were pressed, but as you can see, it's quite a tight fit. Uh, once that's all the way on there, I also have a motor mount that will hold the motor. This is the motor mount I was referring to. On the top, it has fittings to allow either a 120 millimeter or a 140 millimeter cooling fan. And then inside has a place to bolt in the uh, motor. The motor comes up from the bottom in the view that you saw initially. There's a cutout for the wiring to come through and then some long bolts go through to secure it to the back of the tractor. I'll show how to do that in another video. The motor mount will work with this motor or this one. I also have a pulley that's shaped slightly different to fit on this. Then, on the mower we have, I'm going to set this aside, I have a single speed transmission on the mower we have. So what I found is the fitting that holds the uh, steel pulley where the V-belt was, the metal insert will fit directly into this. almost has to be pressed in. I made it incredibly tight. You could heat it up to make it easier. But that gives you a 72 tooth pulley here with a 20 tooth pulley here that maintains the same gear ratio as I was using with my V-belts. And I have not been having any problems with slipping. It hopefully will save the wear on that. And then you just use a uh, 20 millimeter wide, it's a uh, 5 millimeter tooth pitch uh, belt. I ended up using a 520 millimeter length belt, but depending on your design, you may need more or less. But these parts will all be available in the link at the bottom of the video. Uh, the last one that I'm using is I added a foot throttle. And these little foot throttles are available on eBay. They're inexpensive and they work really nice for the project. But one thing about them. I don't understand why they did this, but when you push the throttle down, that comes down. So somehow your foot pedal is supposed to be screwed down using these screws and this one here, but this is going to hit. So you would have to cut out a section of your mower to put this in if you want it flat. What I did instead of having to cut out that section is I made this little 3D print insert. It fits right on there like so. 
These holes allow you to just run your bolt right up and through into there. The last one you can just hit right here. And this will just sit on your mower and then all you have to do is drill holes for your screws and you don't have to make as big of a change as it also gives you a really nice angle here for being able to uh, push but it won't hit. So those parts will be available and hopefully they will uh, prove to be helpful for people that are doing it. Of course the quality you get is totally going to depend on your print settings but I have not had any trouble with the I cannot physically break this, so if you print it well, it should do well. So, anyway, thanks for watching.